Hello, my name is Liliana Boyer. I am in ninth grade. I'm doing a single performance. I am in the senior thing. Totally forgot what it's called. I'm sorry. And I'm doing Look at What You've Done, which is <sighs> greetings, everyone. My name is Paul Burr. I will be your teacher today. We are going to talk about our ancestors and their fight to take a stand against them being pressed down so far into the ground that, the, that their knees shook and they became one with the earth. But a bit about our practice first. We're going to start about how we are basically into herbology. We do mostly with herbs and we believe very definitely in karma. But every now and again, if we have to do a hex or two, we will. We don't, we don't generally believe in it though. We don't want to sacrifice our good karma for you. So, without any further ado, let's begin. My name is Ornella Machiani. I really shouldn't be speaking about this. They might, they might hear me. <sighs> But you wish to know of 1964? I guess, I guess I can tell you. So it all started. We decided we had enough. We wanted to take our stand. We wanted to make sure the world felt, heard our voice. We came stomping through the streets with our peaceful protests. Our voices rang out among the trees. Sadly, it didn't last long. The men came out of their townhouse. They came yelling and screaming, call, calling us spoiled brats, and we wanted everything. <sighs> my sister, my sister had had enough of their torment and all of their years of pressing us down. She stood up, she announced her opinion, she just wanted to speak out for the rest of us. Sadly, she got shot down. She was someone we could all turn to, someone we loved and respected. She was my sister. Then all chaos broke loose. There was yelling and screaming and burning crucifixes being thrown at us. We, we didn't know. We were too caught up in all the madness. It was only about an hour later when I realized I turned to the great wall of flames and I realized our great town was burning to the ground. I tried to turn out to stop. I tried to turn to yell to my sisters and brothers to stop. It was too late. I turned around and saw a man with hate and death in his eyes, and then I saw nothing more. I was never able to see anything again. Well, so you want to know about the spoiled brats, eh? We were just sitting there having a calm, gentlemanly meeting, talking about town stuff, you know, what real men do. And then we heard them stomping through our little town, screaming like the spoiled toddlers they are, taking a stand they said they wanted. <laughs> more, it was more like whining. <sighs> After many, many hours, we started to yell back. It didn't do much good. There was one girl, she had a pretty face. She stood up and I got the liberty of shooting her right through the skull. But chaos broke loose and oh well. Some men had to die and some men had to stay. Survival of the fittest. That's what I always say. As you all know, my name is Fiona. Best Australian witch? Yes. Anyways, now, I'm so sorry to tell you, but th the end of the story isn't so pretty. Ornella lost her eyes. Christopher eventually had to burn, thank God. <sighs> but we did fail to take our stand. Sadly, all our, all our efforts weren't enough. But finally, finally, after many years, 
we are finally getting the equality we deserve, the equality we always wanted. My brothers and sisters can now practice in peace, and we can all stop all this madness. We can now practice because everyone is getting a general idea that we aren't here just to hurt them. <laughs> finally, finally. I shall now end this with, as everyone knows, is my signature. Peace and blessings. Love, Fiona. What about? <laughs>